you guys uh, it's Sarah Black. Uh, I'm giving you a mobility prep for Wheelwad Open 17.2. Um, as you know, we're doing dumbbell crawls, um, power cleans, and uh, transfers to a box. Uh, so I got Lauren Pearson here, an adaptive athlete, who's going to help me demonstrate uh, some of these movements that you should do prior to your workout. So starting in the chair, uh, Lauren's going to, we're just going to do some general move, general prep for the shoulder. So he's going to make a fist with his hand, he's going to bring his thumb back, and he's going to create about 30 to 50% tension in his arm, and go through a full range of motion. Once he can't go any further, he's going to screw his hand into the ceiling to bring his thumb back again, and continue the rest of the range without rotating through his trunk. So this is called a controlled articular rotation and part of the functional range conditioning concepts. And so we're prepping that joint through its full range for the stress that the shoulder is going to be under during this workout. So he's going to do three per side. Um, and then he's going to come over to the squat rack or you can use a doorway and he's going to make a fist um, with his hand, again creating that tension in his upper body. He's at his passive range for his shoulder blade, and he's going to lift his arm off of the uh, squat rack, engaging his shoulder blade, not his shoulder. So he's moving through that shoulder blade. Okay, he's going to do three, holding for 10 seconds, maintaining that position of the arm. And one more. And so that's going to help you on that lift to transfer the uh, dumbbell in that crawl. All right, uh, next thing we're going to do is some uh, pails and rails for the chest. So we're going to open up that chest. Um, and help with that internal rotation too for those of you who are going to move on to the muscle ups um, but especially for those transfers onto the box. So Lauren's going to come up against this doorway or rack again. Yeah. And he's going to have his shoulder in this position here. He's going to press his hand into the uh, rack keeping tension elsewhere in his body. So this is a pales contraction, so progressive angular isometric loading. So we're loading that tissue that we're, that's under stretch. It's gonna hold for 10 seconds. Again, at about a 30 to 50% intensity prior to the workout. Then keeping that shoulder engaged, he's gonna try and lift his hand off of the doorway or the rack, engaging that posterior musculature. Okay, so that way he'll have more control in that range. So he's going to repeat that three times each side, and then we're going to work on that internal rotation. So he's going to just shift his chair. So I'm going to move right this one. We want to avoid pinching, so you might need to change the angle of pull. And his shoulder is back, so we don't want that shoulder to come forward. He's going to push his wrist into the uh, rack. Again, everything is engaged, so we're working on that musculature of the shoulder. He's going to hold for 10 seconds, and then try and lift his hand off of the cage to increase that strength and that control and in internal rotation. Again, 30 to 50% intensity, three times each side. Uh, then, because you're going to do a lot of posterior chain work with the, uh, those power cleans, we're going to do some pails and rails for the spinal flexors. So Lauren's going to come down as far as he can control. And then holding onto his chair, he's going to pull himself back, engaging the posterior musculature of his back. Okay, he's going to hold for 10 seconds, and then try and pull himself closer 
to the sides. He can use this for control for balance. And then he's holding himself in that position. Okay, so again, 30 to 50% tension. Repeat three times. And then we're going to transfer onto the floor. So once we're in this position here, are you okay? Yep. Okay. Uh, Lauren's going to work on moving his spine segmentally. So we're going to do a cat camel. And so Lauren's going to try and move one segment at a time in his back into extension. So bringing that chest towards the ground. Good. Then he's going to work in the opposite direction. Slow down a bit. Press up through the back here. And then move into flexion in this position. Okay, and then switch the opposite way. So one segment at a time. Good. And chin to your chest. Press up through here. Good. So by moving segmentally, we're distributing the load more equally through our spine and increasing that spinal control. All right. So last one we're going to do is in this position as well. We're going to do CARS, so those controlled articular rotations for the shoulder blades. So keeping tension in this trunk, Lauren's going to bring his shoulder blades together. And then down. And push away up. Good, now bring them up towards your ears. Good, bring them together. So we're working that pattern in a square. Down. Up. So we're going to do three in each direction at about that 30 to 50 percent tension. So that's going to prep the shoulder blades to control that dumbbell uh, in your crawls, in the power planes, in the transfers, um, as well as muscle ups should you get that far. So hopefully that was helpful. Good luck on 17.2 and we'll see you back next week. Thanks.